this state is hurting and just the thought of going uh, kids going back to school who cannot be vaccinated. A dozen Democratic legislators from Pulaski County sent a letter to Governor Asa Hutchinson asking him to reconvene or call a special session to lift the ban on schools and government entities requiring people to wear masks. Senator Joyce Elliott, who represents Little Rock, was one of the 12 Democrats who signed the letter. I felt a responsibility as well as the other folks who signed the letter with me because kids deserve better than this, parents deserve better than this, and the whole state does, and somebody has to do everything we can to get the ball rolling. Republican Senator Trent Garner, who represents El Dorado and authored the bill, says masks should not be mandated by the government. He says this letter is another example of Democrats overreacting to the situation. And I've used this pandemic from the start to kind of gain more control and power over the people of Arkansas. The reality is the Democrats' ideas for the last year and a half have failed. And what they should do is allow people to make their own personal medical choices, get your big government mandate away from the people. Senator Garner says parents can make the choice to send their kids back to school with masks because they know what's best for their family. It's everybody's personal choice. I've heard from 10 times many parents who do not want to have to send their kids back with a mask or want the option to do it as the condition on the ground change. The people of Arkansas are smarter than the Arkansas Democrats in the General Assembly. They know what's best for them and their family. Senator Elliott says with children under 12 unable to get the vaccine, we are in jeopardy of putting our kids' futures at risk. What's best for the kids, what's best for the state, what's best for those frontline workers and everybody else who sacrificed all through the last phase. And now they're having to do it again.